Hello friends, our next topic is extended transition functions for NFA with empty moves. In uh, previous videos, you saw that extended transition function is used to find out the transition for a finite automata when we provide a string of input symbols <laughs> as an input. Simple transition function is used to find the transition for a single input symbol but extended transition function is used to find the transition for a string of input symbols. In the previous automata which we have studied till now like NFA without empty moves and DFA. In those automata extended transition function for a single input symbol behaved as a normal transition function. Right? For a single input symbol in DFA and NFA without empty moves extended transition function behaves as a normal transition function but this in this case extended transition function behaves differently now see how it behaves suppose the machine is in a state Q0 and input symbol is A we have to find out the output of extended transition function for this, what we have to do, first we have to find the empty closure of the current state Q. Right? So first of all we will calculate the empty closure of Q. Then we will find out its transition of the output set for an input symbol A. Right? And then whatever the output we get, we have to find out the empty closure of that set. It will be clear after doing this example. Here we are, we have this NFA with empty moves, and we have to find the output of extended transition function where the current state is Q0 and input symbol is 1. So, how can we find out it? So, first of all, find the empty closure of present state as it is done here, as it is written here empty closure of Q0 it will include C there is an empty transition from Q0 to Q1 so empty closure of Q0 will include Q0 and Q1 right now what we have to do now apply input symbol A to the output of empty closure of present state so we have find out the empty closure of present state now what we have to do we have to apply the input symbol to the output set Right. So how can we find how we find out the output of transition function for a set of states? We have to apply this input symbol individually to the each state of the present uh, each state of the set. So there are two states. So find out the transition for each state individually and they take the union of the output. So it would be delta Q0. 1 union delta q1 1 so from q0 there is no transition for 1 right so it will be null and for q1 we have one transition that is so it jumps to q2 so the output would be the set q2 now look at this rule again what we have to do first we have to find out the empty closure of present state right as we have done this here then apply the input symbol to the set we have applied it and then whatever the output we get apply the empty closure again now we have to apply the empty closure to q2 
Now find out the MC closer of Q2. It must contain the state itself that is Q2 and now see the empty transition of state Q2. It jumps to state Q3 on reading input symbol empty means without reading any input symbol it will jump to state Q3 there is an empty transition so add Q3 also now we have added Q3 we have to find out its empty transitions also uh, there is no transition for Q3 so we will leave it here only right so what would be the output it would be Q2 Q3 right so for a single input symbol extended transition function behaves differently from the normal transition function which is not in the case of an FA without empty moves and in DFA here extended transition function behave differently right now our main purpose is to find the transition for a string of input symbol the main purpose of extended transition function is to find the transition for a string of input symbol for this see this example here we have this NFA with empty moves and we are provided with the string 0 1 1 and we have to find the extended transitions from state A for input string 0 1 1 so how will we find first of all find the empty closure of A 0 1 1 so here first find the extended transition of A for single input symbol 0. So how will we find it as I told earlier that we first of all we have to find out the empty closure of A then apply the input symbol and then again take its empty closure. Right? So there is no empty transition from A so its empty closure will include only the inputs are uh, only one state that is A. Now apply 0 to it. When we apply 0 to A, see here, when we apply A, uh, when we apply 0 to state A, when the machine is in state A and it reads 0, it will jump to machine, uh, machine will jump to state E, right? So what we have to do, again we have to find out the empty closure of state E. Here, empty closure of state E will include state E, right? And apart from this, it will contain C, B and D. C, B and D. Right? So reading the input symbol 0 output would be E C B D. Now we have to apply 1 to this set because the next symbol is 1. So what how we find the transition for a set of a state is how do we find we apply this input symbol individually to each state. So first of all apply it to state E. There is no transition for input symbol 1 from state E. And from C it will jump to when it reads 1 it will jump to D. And from B it will jump to C. You can see it here. From C it will jump to D and from B it will jump to C. Right? And for D, there is no transition for input symbol 1. Right. So, 
when it treats one the output would be set dc right so again we have to take it semi closer how will we find the set of empty close uh, find the, the empty closure for a set of states first find the empty closure of d then of c and take union of both now we don't have any empty transition for state d so its empty closure will include only the state d and same for c also right so when we take their union the output would be dc then again it would read input symbol one so apply the one individually to d and c so for d there is no transition for input symbol one and for c there is a transition to state d so its output would be set d now according to the rule again we have to find out the empty closure of d right now here there is no empty transition for d so its empty closure will include only a single state d so it is the working of extended transition function for a string of input symbol how it works i am repeating it again first of all find the empty closure of current state apply the symbol and whatever output you get apply the empty closure on that set also find the empty closure of that set also and after finding the empty closure of that set apply the second input symbol so whatever the output you get then again apply empty closer on that again read the input symbol then again apply the empty closer so what we have to do here we have to uh, before reading any input symbol apply empty closer on the state then again whatever the output you get in last apply the empty closer on that output state also right whatever the uh, output set we get set of states apply the empty closure on that also so its output would be the d a set containing d so 